on this thoughtful Thursday before Pride Shabbat, which happens to fall on Juneteenth, because of course it does, because it's 2020 and everything's happening all at once. I want to offer an interpretation, a reflection about creation and the creation of humanity that comes from Sidur Sha'ar Zahav, which is a project of Congregation Sha'ar Zahav from San Francisco, California. Sha'ar Zahav, I think that's all I'll need to say. It means gates of gold. And this Sidur is a really beautiful compendium of readings and prayer interpretations. And there's really something for every occasion. So of course there's something for this Pride Shabbat that happens on Juneteenth. Um, we will be streaming that service in lieu of a separate service, because why would we do a separate service? We're coming together as a community. And I offer you this reading as just some food for thought to prepare you for all of those celebrations and uh, where we find ourselves within the midst of all of these different communities. God scooped up some dust. Stretching forth one hand, God scooped up some dust and out of it made the first human being. This dust came from all corners of the earth, east and west, north and south, and it was made up of all the earth's colors, red for the blood, black for the internal organs, white for the bones, and a rainbow of shades for the skin. Unlike all future human beings, this first human creature was born fully formed by God's own hands male and female in one body, appearing like a creature 20 years old. How wise this first human being was when he was barely an hour old, God brought him all the animals in Eden and asked him to give them names. As each creature paraded before her, the human named them all, Ibis and Toad, Gazelle and Python, Ring-necked Pheasant and Raccoon. Then God asked the namer to choose her own name. Adam, she answered without hesitation, for it was out of the Adama, the humus, that you formed a human being. We are all B'nai Adam, and yet we all experience this life in a different path, a different way. And this Shabbat is about raising up some voices that we don't often hear from at the center of our circles and giving them space to say what they need to say so that we can hear what they have to say. So, some food for thought. I look forward to seeing you at Pride Shabbat, 6 p.m., Friday. Be well.